Okay, the next thing to be doing with your Pac-Man project is to create a ghost that can chase him around and also to create some dots for our Pac-Man to eat. Okay, so you can see that this is the Pac-Man uh, flash animation we made in part one. You've got your background and you've got your Pac-Man layer. And I've motion tweened it so that the Pac-Man is doing a nice little run across the maze. And now I'm going to make a ghost. So click here to make a new layer. I'm going to double click here and call it ghost. And now I'm going to use the paint tool, the brush tool, to do a simple ghost. Okay, so I've drawn this with the brush tool and now I'm going to click the selection tool and drag a box around it and modify and convert to symbol. Click OK. And then I can double click on it. You may have to click on the blue. Now it's gone into its own timeline. I need to create another frame by clicking F6. I might zoom in a bit and as you know you can zoom in by clicking the drop down here. Now if I use the eraser I can rub out the bottom a bit. So make sure you're still on the second frame and then use the erase tool to rub out the eyes and the bottom of the ghost and then go back to the brush tool and rub in there. Now that's too thin so Control Z undoes that and you can change the size of the brush here and that should allow you to do something a little different. and do the eyes in a different place and if you want to do a mouth and things you can and maybe even add a little arm like that so you can check how it looks by clicking that'll do and then to go back to your main timeline you click this blue arrow here okay so now we've made our ghost I can zoom out a bit and we can now do our motion tweening to actually make the ghost animate across the page.